This is Twit. We referred a little bit to you on MacBreak Weekly again this week because of our conversation about uh, Jonathan Zdarsky's uh, OS 8 or OS 7 security issues. And uh, yep. I think everybody has concluded that you are exactly right in, in uh, the de to the degree which you worry about those security issues. Yeah, to the, exactly. In fact, I have a little follow-up this week both on that and Canvas fingerprinting. Uh, a big errata fix, which is my comment that I'm sure you saw this too. You must have received tweets and things that v iOS 7 had not been jailbroken. Yeah, I should have stopped out, you on that one. That one, I wasn't. Yeah. Well, yeah. and it was it, he. Jonathan did write that, but as I commented, his paper right. was about uh, about 10 months old. Right. And in fact, that was his comment was that it wasn't until he created the PowerPoint presentation and did a, an actual presentation that anyone noticed what he had written back in October of 2013. So anyway, so that was old news. And so to, so to everyone who tweeted me, thank you for the correction. And uh, that's corrected. Well, uh, although, as Renee Ritchie was pointing out, the jailbreak is the bigger security f flaw. I mean, if you're going to really talk about security issues, the fact that you can jailbreak it is a huge security issue, right? Yeah, although that, as I understand it, that's still, I mean, it requires the user themselves to jump through all kinds of hoops in right. order to make that happen. It's, it's not like, yeah. Although there yeah. have been one single button jailbreaks. I almost think that, I mean, e, and th this is like me saying it ought to just be something you can do. Yeah. I, I you know, you ought to, it ought, it ought to not be this cat and mouse game between the consumer who owns the device and Apple who is fighting them over control. If the consumer knowingly says, I want freedom, they ought to be able to just press the button and get it. I well, of course, I, that's how it is on Android. There's a checkbox that says, per, we, is it okay to buy stuff in third-party stores? You check that box, they warn you, there's a risk inherent, and then you just do it. Yeah, and there's something you press like seven times too, isn't there? And then yeah, you but you don't need to do that to jailbreak a, an Android device. You just it's a right. setting. Jailbreaking yeah. on the iPhone only really does one thing: it allows you to buy from somebody besides Apple, buy apps or download apps well, from somebody besides it, Apple. It also well, or, or to install apps yeah. other than from the curated, controlled right. that's it. environment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so that's a checkbox in uh, Android. There is other stuff. Yeah, you can turn on developer mode with by tapping something seven times. And then many Android phones, but not all, can be rooted, uh, which is really more, you know, from for people like us who understand computers, that's, you know, getting... <laughs> well, who know what the word root means. Yeah, super user if you, permission. If you don't you know, know what that is, you should not you shouldn't do, do it. it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's the, uh, to me, that's the clear and distinct difference between iOS and Android. And if you want that, you should use Android. Right yeah, there, right. boom. Yeah, it seems risky. And I heard you. I heard, I heard you mentioning also that that Samsung, despite their massively heavy advertising, is not the Android device you should buy. Yeah. Uh, you were liking the HTC. Phones. I like. I currently use a HTC One, but there are many good choices, including if it were easier to get, I'd probably recommend this very inexpensive but very nice uh, One Plus One phone. It's only three hundred. Yep. Some bucks, and uh, it's a really nice state of the art phone. And w there was just a, uh, was it a law passed or an, exe no, I think it was, didn't Obama sign an executive order? He hasn't signed it yet. It is a law that the, both the House and Senate have passed. And the reason, yep. this is a, that says you can, that you have the right, a legal right to unlock your Unlocked. phone uh, after you've had it for the contract period. It was, you right. know, it's come and gone. It was, it was, I think it was the Librarian of Congress that said you could do it. And yeah, then, and where did that, how did they get their feet in there? I thought Library of Congress. They were what? responsible for copyright and trademark and, uh, oh. and uh, you know, IP protection. Uh, I know, isn't that weird? Okay. It's just weird. The whole world is yeah. weird. <laughs> the uh, U.S. world is weird. Everybody in Europe's really? going, wait a minute, you don't have, it's, the, wait a minute, what are you saying? In Europe, it's not only legal, it's required that you, that the carrier unlock the phone. Well, and I love the idea of the freedom that that would create after you've, you know, fulfilled your contract and you're not happy. Well, of course, with, you bought you know, this hardware. You should be able to run it any way you want. And it's not cheap. I mean, it, you know, it's seriously expensive stuff. I mean, you know, Apple's rolling in cash. So at and has done this for a while and uh, allowed customers to do this for a while. And now it's required that everybody offer that. Well, as soon as President Obama signs it. Will be, yeah. yeah.